Good evening. After 14 years, an emotional Lynn Kosky has ended her political career, resigning as Public Transport Minister and from Parliament. She cited significant family health issues, but maintains she has no regrets despite the Mikey debacle and a transport system in crisis. Jacqueline Freegard reports. With a kiss and embrace from the Premier, embattled Public Transport Minister Lynn Kosky made a tearful exit from public life for the sake of her family. She cited significant health issues involving her children for the decision to end her political career. Her 16-year-old daughter Hannah, 14-year-old son Jackson and husband Jim alongside her today. And much as I've tried to care for my family whilst also paying the proper attention to my job that it demands, I have to admit that my family has often come second. She informed the Premier yesterday but denies the pressure simply became too great or that she was pushed out after heading up the introduction of the troubled MyKey ticketing system and a myriad of failures across the public transport network. I think it's often um, a more demanding role for women in many ways than it is for men. You've got all of the normal responsibilities uh, that go with being a, a cabinet minister and a public figure, uh, but for women there are often additional responsibilities uh, in the home. The member for Altona will leave politics immediately, which means a by-election will have to be held before the November state election. The opposition says the government has a new crisis on its hand, choosing a minister to take up what is regarded by many as the toughest job in Victorian politics. Whoever goes through the door into the office of the Minister for Public Transport will have a lot of people behind him and pushing him because it's a poison chalice. And Pete, that's of course the question, who will get the poison chalice of Public Transport Minister? The obvious replacement is the Roads Minister Tim Pallas, but Industry Minister Martin Pakula is another name that's been thrown into the mix. Lily D'Ambrosio will take, or likely to take, Linkowski's place in Cabinet, and all of those decisions will be made after a special caucus meeting to be held here at Treasury Place on Wednesday. Pete.